Hi everybody. This is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled live stream video on this November 14th, 2018, the eve of firearm deer season in the state of Michigan. And I was just over at the Norris, uh, Norris Road uh, job where we're cutting all the ash at. And I said, well, why don't I just cut a load of ash? Hey, we got a viewer. Hey, how's it going? I, I can't read your name. I don't have my bifocals on, so it's hard for me to read, but hi there. Hey, uh, so I just uh, cut this load of logs, and I also made a video of these bigger logs, these ash logs, and I will, uh, I'll be uploading it after this live stream, so it's kind of like the cart before the horse, you know? I'm going to just show you how I uh, unload this when I, when I uh, go cut a truckload, but First, I want to show you, you know, how low my inventory is. Right here is my dry inventory. That's nothing. I got this wall here of ash. That's, that, that's like about a face cord, maybe a little bit less. And I have 20 deliveries to do. And this is all my dry wood. That ash right there, that pile, that's it. That's got to last me all winter. It won't even, you know, last me this week. This is my emergency reserve uh, oak that I have here. And I'm gonna start selling that in the uh, probably in late December, but I will, uh, you know, if I need to top off my truck with, uh, with orders that I got right now, I'll ha I will use that. It's been there since like February. Inside here, it should be nice and dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up right here. And if I can get the splitter to start, I'm gonna split it right into my truck and then I got a delivery at 2 p.m. Right now it's about, it's almost noon, I think, quarter to 12 or something. So if I get the splitter to start, I'll move it out here, move the splitter out here and split this stuff. But I would say, I would say there's easily enough in here to, uh, to fill the truck up with an oversized truckload, maybe, we'll see. If, and if somebody uh, brought me a truckload like this, you know, perfectly cut ash, you know, nice and solid, I would probably pay them, you know, 50, 60 bucks for this. Because, I mean, look how nice it is. Nice and straight and it's dry and it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook the camera up here on my tripod. Hope uh, you guys are enjoying this. And uh, we'll get her done. Hopefully, I'm trying to get the focus in a little bit better, you know, because I, I don't want it to be too dark. I wish I had a cameraman for this, but I don't know. I think you, I think you can see fine like this. I had to break out my winter coat already. You know, I had it embroidered, but I got these new gloves. They're working out pretty good. The ones that I've had before in the past, when you, when you take them off, it, the whole inside lining comes out. But these are working pretty good. I bought them on Amazon, so they're rated up to 40 below. So we'll see. I'm going to check the focus one more time, just make sure it's good. Yeah, I think you guys can see. Hopefully you can hear me, and uh, it's not crackling in and out because I can't, I'm too far from the house to connect to the Wi-Fi, and I only had two bars of service. These ones on the back, I usually I usually load them and I put the put the biggest pieces on back so I don't have to move them from up from the front if that's an option. Yeah, these are about 60, 70 pounds. I don't want to get hit by my rake here. A lot of wood in these bigger pieces. And I usually set one up like that so they don't roll. Nice 
nice having somebody help you, you know. It would be nice if somebody could roll it to a tailgate. It wouldn't take long at all. I'm the only one here. Hope everybody's having a good day. First time the sun's been out here in a week. Kinda sucks up. We're on a hill here, you know, because I split so much wood there that uh, it's kind of built up so now it's like leaning forward so the pieces want to roll towards the front of the cab. a little long. It's gonna have to work though. I think it's at least 18, probably close to 20 inches. That's why I put the smaller pieces up front, so they're a lot easier to move. Now I know everybody will say, why don't you buy a dump trailer or something, you know. I can barely buy my food. Pay for a phone bill and that's about it. I mean, look at my truck. If I had money, I'd get a truck. Not getting rich doing this even at my high prices. If you guys, anybody has a Facebook page that finds this video on YouTube, uh, I, I run a Facebook group called Firewood Sellers. Go ahead and join that. And then you can see pictures and stuff like that, not just videos from YouTube. Everybody, uh, everybody ready for Ashton Sunday? We got three truckloads to deliver, so I might have her do some splitting. I'm not sure yet. I'll figure out something for her.
That's a perfect sized tree. Nice and straight, too. Three more. There's another one I cut. We got 12 people watching. I put my other glasses on so now I can see and read your questions and answer your questions if you got any. But I'll just uh, show you this for a minute here and uh, we got her all unloaded. See, hopefully, hopefully it, you can hear me and the, it's coming through clear and not blurry. So it looks kind of choppy to me right now. Like I say, my wife, I couldn't connect to that. So, looks like it's dialed in right now. I'll show you the wood. This is a, what they split the other day, you seen in the video. It's no fun unloading it covered in snow. Hey, you see that? That's all cherry right there. There's at least five truckloads right there. So that's me and Ashen's job. But um, like I say, this is it's, it's looking choppy for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the video of me cutting, <coughs> cutting all that wood. And uh, make sure you watch that later this afternoon. And uh, thanks for subscribing and have a great day. And we'll see you on the